A nationwide survey of 280 community organisations found 42% were worried about their future financial viability, while others were facing closure. It's the impetus behind Connect South's regional survey. Alan Shanks says the group wanted to gain an accurate perspective of just how bad things were locally. Some of the organisations have missed out on renewal of their contracts through the MSD and also some have actually picked up contracts. So what you get is you get some who have obviously now going to have to reevaluate um, their financial and their sustainability really because they've lost this particular amount of funding. He says the government is expecting community organisations receiving funding to show outcomes more clearly. The warning was on on the horizon probably five years ago that they wanted to see some more sort of stronger accountability and so it's not as if this has just been thrown on the sector just overnight. The Dunedin Budget Advisory Service and organisations in rural areas like Omaru, the West Coast and Balclutha have all had a reduction in funding. A situation which Shanks says will find many clients of such services displaced. People who are looking for budget advice, uh, one area is mental health and if there's not an a infrastructure of good support from organisations, people in that sort of area um, can become quite vulnerable. He hopes Connect South can feed important information back to the government regarding where stress is happening in the sector. More than 500 community organisations throughout Otago have been approached by the surveyors for their responses, with final submissions due at the end of November. I'm Roselle Bone for The South Today.